Okay. So first of all, I just gotta start with saying thank you, God. Um, as hard as things are for me, I have to be thankful. It is disturbing what I'm experiencing psychologically, even physically. Things are obviously going bad. Um, I don't know what's going on with my digestive digestive system, but uh, I feel like soon I will not be able to digest completely. But um, I'm just thankful that I get to see things for what they are, and the rest is going to be a lot of theatrical and manipulations that these people want me to identify with, and I will never. Uh, for me, I see what's happening to me for what it truly is, not this psyop facade that they try to present. And matter of fact, the truth is I have to maintain cool because I truly see them for the trash that they are. Not this facade and bullshit stories that they try to make me accept. These losers, in the sense that they're they really are just pathetic to try to even try, try to make me accept these things. Um, when you hear the obviousness of what this is about, I swear to God, it's, it's, it's just so obvious. That what we experience is what exactly what everybody's talking about. It is surreal to hear somebody who can, the way everything described it, and I'm looking at what's happening to me, it's like, can you imagine how on point what they're saying is? Well, this trash wants me to accept this manipulation, but this... <laughs> and I'm so thankful, you know, what they, they call it unfair is to me is the fairest thing that can make me be thankful to, that this is there. Two seconds ago, as always, they do the same thing. There was a, an ad where there's this little girl and of course some kind of stimulation was created and manipulations and sensation that they forced me to have. They like to, well, what they say is like, no, we mapped it, it's you when you were a child. But in fact, before that, my phone was laying like on the upper side of my um, lap, on my um, thigh. And I picked up the phone and then I saw the ad later on and they created this sensation, stimulation that almost feels like my phone was laying on my, on my private area. But still, they start <laughs> saying, try to make me feel weird. It's like, why was your phone on your lap before? You see, you wanted to create some kind of contact with your private part. Like, this is the kind of manipulation that is happening in your brain. As they are rewiring you to have these reactions. It's disgusting. <clears throat> but I understand what this is really about. This is, we are just test subject, to, test subject to this cognitive warfare where this DOD sophisticated technology is utilized onto us. This is something that's global. I understand wherever I go. There'll be people in whatever language doing the same thing to me. That's the reality. The rest of the facade of how they want you to perceive this is just what they want you to you to, to, to see this thing as. That this is anything but this massive government implementing this technology onto civilians or individuals who, who are used as test subjects. Human beings that are used as test subjects. And so they have this whole facade and sign up. It's disgusting. And by the way, after that, this kid, oh, this child likes trash. I don't know what she is. And they use this child like individuals to, 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 to also disturb, disturb you. And then they still, you know, they think because they're children, the rationality is going to be more acceptive because they're children. And, and they will say something, oh, you, she, she, you used her, you did this and that, you touch her, she taught you. And what they try to, to talk about is about me when I was in middle school. As a child, matter of fact, I saw in a, in a laundry mat somebody who's about the same age that they were saying they map me to. And I'm like, look at this little thing. This little kid. Like, imagine I'm looking at grown ass men. And I'm like, yo, this is you. That's, we mapped it to you when you were like this. And the humiliation of reality that these people are working for governmental entities, these governmental entities truly have freaking pedophilia issues. There's so much child porn being navigating in these this agencies. But there's a bill passed to try to limit that. You understand why this is so fair to me? Because you hear this trash thing, now we match that, we match you. That's how you felt when you were a kid, like you trash us. The truth is they rewire your brain. They are rewiring your brain. 24-7, your thought process, your brain is being rewired. Matter of fact, the humiliation that somebody is literally saying, you know, what happens when they pipe in those voices is they... They have these tactics of rewiring thought process. 
rewiring the brain and is in like um what's the word offensive type of rewiring things that would degrade you that is why pedophilia is utilized to degrade you that's why they force me to have this nasty sexual stimulations toward these babies these little kids especially little girls where they're like not little girls as you will map this it's like this is part of this cognitive warfare where they're using this nasty pedophilia type of torment to break me down and they truly want you to accept this with no shame because this is how the target nature is supposed to identify. I was like, of course, this is a pedophilia things you do. This is how you rewire my brain. It's not me when I was a child. I'm not even, that's, even that sounds just rude. But that's their job. And so they're like, oh, no, but you use your hand. Oh, what they try, try to exaggerate what I did as a kid. To make me accept this manipulation I'm having today as a grown man, which is renowned because they do this pedophilia type of torture. It's what they do. So when they make me have this nasty sexual stimulation toward these babies, like, no, we matched. They'll say that like that. As if... And that's their job, though. That is really... They're supposed to make it sensical. Now we're matching. So you're making me think the way I would respond when I was a kid. That is this, this is the rational thing that I should be thinking about. Of course it's not true. First of all, that is on its own, even... Like, like the, the logic they try to have is retarded. You never try to make somebody think the way they think as a child because you basically telling them that you're making them mentally retarded but this is part of this cognitive where war where they make you have this nasty sexual uh, sexual reaction they are rewiring your brain in these disturbing ways and then they want you to accept this nonsensicalness by giving you this logic that it just makes no sense because you have validated that somebody literally say they are rewiring your brain your thought process, literally saying that. I never paid this man to say anything. This guy says that. And I've been saying that before this specific thing was said by him like that. Because they are rewiring my libido. They are making me have stimulations toward children to torment me, to torment me, to break me down. And then you hear this trash. Try to sell this manipulation by talking about she touched it or something like that to try to counter that. To try to make me acceptive of this. You cannot counter the fact that there's a target individual saying the same things all around the world. And it's these tactics that have been very clearly mentioned. That this is a rewiring tactic that's offensive to the target individual. The, the process, the, the thought process and the brain is rewired in an offensive way. To push a target individual into insanity, to their death, to, to do uh, irrational things. This is why you hear my shootings are happening because the people who end up killing, they're like, my brain is being influenced by this technology. I rather die to end this torment. I rather kill to end this torment. And you have trash like that that push people into that. And you hear this trash with VRV token using all type of menacing tonality to make you accept these things. I was, I went on a date yesterday, purple as always, and you can see this guy I took a, a car with, with uh, Uber. You know, there's so much. There is so. There's. It, I mean, there's so much. These people. There's. There's a level of dumbing themselves that they can't do it for too long. You can see. It. It's just overwhelming. Because, I go into this Uber. He started off with a lot of ad, like, "Well, I mean, no, you just want to do this and that." You just try to say, "I'm like, okay." It was a long ride. I put my headphones on. And then. I start playing every validation that you can imagine that you can have that these things is things they do to break you down. I start off with this man saying, well, what they do, right? There's four techniques, which is try to counter that by saying four, 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 because they try to say, no, remember what you did, four. We get to the point where they go and torture children as young as four years old and torture them badly with Down syndrome. But it's four techniques, right? The techniques consist of piping voices in your brain, but they also start to manipulate the brain. They start um, rewiring the thought process and the brain. Like clearly saying that. Clearly saying that. Meaning they are changing your thought process and your brain, literally. Right? And he's talking about target individual, which is what I am. Right? So when they are here, no, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you. 
and you hear this person that has no connection with me this person has been talking to so many other target individuals thousands of them to understand that they have this process of rewiring the brain that is offensive and the goal is they are sampling human beings from all around the world this is global different cultures different uh, languages all of the all around the world and creating a matrix of what techniques deceptions and tricks would push this individual to lose his mind to walk him to his death to control him to do things that you and this is a reason why they do these things the deception to use that is going to work the trickery that's going to work them is going to make you know they are this is a research on how to improve this weapon which is a weapon unto us that can alter the mind in different disgusting ways and what works in what ways what is the 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 tactic that's going to be the most efficient in pushing this individual into insanity or making him doing something that he will never do or walk him to his death and the tactics consist of this pedophilia type of torture which later on you hear multiple target individuals say they are changing who i am they're putting these thoughts of pedophilia now the woman saying they are forcing me to have sexual sensation toward children then you hear a woman saying they're doing the pedophilia type of torture he's driving like he's supposed to maintain cool like what like and he's supposed to still dumb me down like he's supposed to dumb himself down but at this point it's just too humiliating but it doesn't even end there because then the man said they could this is also to see what they can drive a target individual to do the most irrational thing and some of the things target individuals have done is caused mass shootings and the cause mass shooting and some of them have clearly said the reason why I did this is because I'm being influenced and I'm being tormented by these people with electromagnetic frequency or radiation and this is why I did what I did as I'm speaking that right now you hear a child like trash fully humiliated by the reality of things who still want me to accept this shit now you're way mad dead now this trash has the luxury to do that remotely now imagine this driver who's supposed to make me accept this when i'm listening to this and it's so surreal on point it's scary but it doesn't even end there you know how they try to vilify me about me as a kid doing the dumb impulsive thing that i did as a child which they have to exaggerate that's what they said she touched it this way. you then hear how horrible they are to children and you, you see this man that not even know where to look. Almost teary. Because you clearly hear that they are torturing children. And they, we're not talking about decades ago. We're talking about this text testimony is like in 2018. So you know these people harm children. Regardless of his involvement, if he himself involved himself in this in the torture of children, he knows the program is in torture children. And they have this tendency of utilizing this pedophilia type of torture well this trash out here now we mapped it we map we make we match it to you as a kid this how you thought which on its own you see you hear what it sounds like you hear what it sounds like but then this poor i'm not even say poor guy because that's what he gets he then find out no doesn't find out but he then hear what i'm hearing clearly that we obviously know that this program is not led by these trash facades or whatever they try to present themselves it's hearing a child trash like saying they mapped it no it's trash i know you're just a bottom feeder it's obviously a mass government running this program what kind of mass government the largest government the largest entity this is the most powerful entity in the world the department of the defense of defense dod there is no entity on this earth that it has any the capability to do this but that and the reason why it's global is because obviously the dod this the most powerful entity that is not a, 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 any entity that is even close to that is because the, this is the entity that is doing this to, to running this program 
Now the trash that you see around you are just the the implementers. They the 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 the, the connection from them to the DOD is probably like layers upon layers. But they know our reality. They know the reality that this trash obviously is not. Is we're not doing that money. You know the 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 psyop I'm gonna co talk about is gonna be a joke that is magical. So to know that obviously the DOD is running this program and they've been doing that for years. You hear the first experimentation that's official about electromagnetic radiation or frequency was back in the sixties, when DARPA at the time called ARPA was using this technology to see how they can alter the mind. Since the sixties. This guy is driving, what can he do? The humiliation. The humiliation that, okay, I'm supposed to be, now you ain't nothing. And then, and that's why they always try to do, he, like I'm in the back seat and he's trying to turn around and he's like, we mapped it, he's trying to say things like that. I'm like, you're a clown. Because you understand that for years, these governmental entities have been trying to, well, have been altering, learning how to alter the mind of target individual, human subject, changing them. He, he the, he's driving. He's, he he just he stopped being. He's, he's just like he gave up. But then, to add the cherry on top of everything, you see this trash. Down here now we mapped it. We mapped it. We you know it's you. We mapped it. We do. You thought it would match it to you. The governmental entities running this program, we talk about the DOD. Is having issues with pedophilia. There is a problem that is ongoing in the DOD network. Such a, so much of a problem that in 2019, this bill called and National D as Defense, as Department of Defense Network Abuse Act. What this act is about, what this bill is about, is a bill that try and attempt to limit the issue that's ongoing with this network, this the DOD network. In 2018, Child Protective Services ranked the network of the DOD as one of the largest, or well, the top tier in regard of trafficking child porn. There is so much child pornography being trafficked on those network that they were ranked 19th right 19th out of 2900 ranking making them a top tier network in regard of trafficking child porn clearly showing that these mappers matching to you as a kid actually work for governmental entities where there's so much pedophilia issue that these DOD employees from the Pentagon and wherever else even the US uh, intelligence are using the computers given to them by the DOD, by these governmental entities, to download and traffic child porn and using the network, the internet network, the computer network, to traffic and share it between peer to peer. So much so that they ranked 19th out of 2,900. They is incredible, like this man said. While these retards, Somehow want me to be like, no, we mapped it, it's you, we mapped it, it's you. This man driving, he, has, he doesn't have the luxury to be remotely doing that. I got to look at him. Go ahead. You, you know why this child like trash can do that from afar? You have to look at me and try to dumb yourself down. Who's the pedos? To the point where the, there was a question asked by one of these persons saying, why are they letting so many pedophiles working in these Pentagon ent uh, entities? Because this bill, all it does, all this bill does is not to just stop pedophiles from start working in these entities. No. It, what it does is just reviewing and looking at the computers given by the DOD. Not their private computers. The issue right now that is already known is the computers given to them by the DOD devices. And this man said that clearly. No, this only looks like, this bill only looks like the computers given to them by the DOD. That's how disturbing it is. It is insane that 
the issue is they're not even saying what we want to do is like do a better review of people's background and everything no we're saying that we just want to look at these computers that we give them to the to our workers to ensure that they don't download child porn using the computers we give them because right now there's such a problem with that that they're ranked top tier can you imagine can you imagine even just regular porn imagine just regular porn you have a computer given to you by the work you use this computer work to watch regular porn no these people don't even watch regular porn they watch child porn on the computer given to them by the dod and this bill is supposed to look over these computers given to them this dod computers and make sure that this child porn is not being downloaded using those computers they don't care about what they do at home they don't care about anything either but even that alone is such a problem that the child protective services is ranking those network as traffickers of child porn top tier tra traffic of child porn so much so that the ranking is 19th out of 2900 network this man is supposed to be like oh no we're not David, David. but this child like trash can do that remotely because it's humiliating to try to make me believe that no you working for these governmental entities are making me think like a child and so that's is why should well <laughs> i can obviously hear that there is a rewiring of the brain he's, he's listening there's a rewiring they're rewiring the brain and the thought process and this is like an offensive type of rewiring and specifically pedophilia type of torture have been used where they force you to have sexual stimulation to children. Some other people are saying that, not me. And I've been saying the same thing. Is there a correlation here? Well, this trash, I said, like, no, we mapped as a kid. Remember what you did as a kid. Talk about me as a child in the positive middle school. And said, like, no, but we did. We proved it. that we, you see what you did as a kid. That's proved that today we're not doing the pedophilia type of torture. You trash us. When everything shows clearly that there is a pattern to, over, to torment a target individual, there is a pedophilia type of tor tormenting tactics. And this trash we prove that we did it. They actually work for governmental entities where there's been proof that there's a problem with pedophilia. Now, I know the reality of what it is. They tr this is the type of ways of trying to deceive you into accepting this manipulation. It's what they're supposed to break you down with. Because at the end of the day, I am a human test subject for these governmental entities that are rewiring my brain and breaking me down. This is a way to, 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 to destroy me. These are, it, it's used as a weapon uh, development. And they're tweaking around, okay, what's the most destructive things to him? When you make him think like that, it's, okay, well, we do this, and then make him think like he felt like that as a kid. This is, this is the most... That. So they're really looking at how the, the most tormenting things... There's, the study is... How can we torment him the most efficiently? The pedophilia type of torture. Okay, we do the pedophilia type of torture. Then we make him think that that's how he experienced it when he was a child. And then make sense of it. And make, try to make him feel guilty for the way we manipulate him to experience whatever he is experiencing now. Then try to make it seem like it's, we're connecting to whatever he experienced when he was a kid. And then try to make sense of that. And then they have now with what we do, we mapped it, we made all this gimmicky bullshit that they want you to accept. Now I'll go to the date. The date, you know, with me, there's been this retarded facade that I'm supposed to, add. like at this point, at this point, it's just clannery. Um, and, you know, she, she comes in and she wants to make me believe now we are this femme fatale feminist for a group of people. I'm like, oh God, Jesus. What a fucking, like, at this point, it's just like, stop it, stop it. It's, it's, it's embarrassing. It's over. It's over. You can you can have a bunch of women walking me. It's like, first of all, you, you, we gave validation that there's a bunch of women in this program being destroyed the same way. Psychologically, physically, and tormented in ways that some of them have killed themselves. Some of them has died by the, like the horrible. Some of them have left the country, going to Australia, tried to go live the. And on top of that, because 
I didn't end up in this program just because some people around here put me in this program. No, I was put in this program by the organization I used to work for. A very influential organization that currently in America has moved the needle in the most conservative ways. So much so that they even donate a lot of money to reverse, to change, to remove the Roe versus Wade uh, rights of abortion. They participated noticeably and done other things that's so like extremely conservative. These people put me in this program. And I think that's why they have this facade like, that, that we're the, this liberal group of like progressive. It's all about creating a false reality. And I'm like, first of all, <laughs> I know who put me in this program. You guys are some losers to try to counter that. Two, I know this is a governmental led program. They try to make you believe that this is anything, anything by massive government doing that. That is your next door neighbor, 14 year old, next door 14 year old uh, neighbor. Your, uh, this is a, a cult of satanic group of people. Uh, that this is the Russian government, the Chinese government, the, all this bullshit. But to try to counter what's really happening here, that the government, massive government is running this program. They do that all the time. And on top of that, you hear women who's targeting videos saying, there's a lot of females involved in this. You're not even a woman. Who, what kind of woman would do that? Or involve themselves in the program and witness or let that happen. So I know there's plenty of women of all sorts involved in this program that torture men, women, and children. Just like there's a bunch of men of all sorts involved in the torment and torture of men, when, men, women, and children in this program. This facade is just boo. It's just... So they come, try to make show me, uh, you know, how, like, progressive they are. It's like, oh, like, communist stuff. Like, gosh. <laughs> what clannery stuff is that? Communist. <laughs> this is crazy. Really trying to make me now with, like, with this, like, super liberal, anarchist, communist. <laughs> It's comical. It's like a joke. I'm like, really? R really? <laughs> you clown. You clown. But I show you how much of a clown there these people are. Because if I ever need to put them in, in the right, uh, and put them down to what uh, they really are. I'm, I, uh, I'm having dinner with this person. There's a guy next, next door, next to me. And there's a, this young person, a uh, young adult of some sort. She almost made me lose my mind there, and um, it was no. I was really about to like. I was. I had to calm myself down. I had to calm myself down. Because they, this trash, I still trying to make me accept this thing. But now, we're talking about mass shootings. We talk about kids getting shot at because they are being. They're pushing target individual to lose their mind to the point where, Ti are losing their mind and going to places where there's a bunch of kids and shooting out the place. The mass shooting that happened in October of 2023. He was a target individual who's hearing voices of, and voices calling him a pedophile. And he thought those people calling him a pedophile were in this bowling alley. He got tired of it. This guy was trained to shoot. He was an, a, shoot, a gun instructor. He grabbed AR-15, whatever, went to this bowling alley, killed, uh, alley, killed 18 people. A child got shot, got killed. And other children got wounded. What well, this one got wounded? A ten-year-old asking, "Why would somebody do that?" And I see this piece of shit there in front of me, who think that now nah, we argue with that and I'm like, I will throw this shit on your fucking face, because we talk about blood. There's so many people at this point. You piece of fucking shit. And she do something with the hair. I'm like, motherfucker, calm down, because I'm thinking about this poor kid saying, "Why would somebody shoot? Why would people shoot this? Why would people, why would people do this?" Well, this trust like nice and get it you and try to be friends, you piece of shit for all the death. A coward of life like this, while a poor kid getting shot at. This trust delusional. And they think they can act it away. And they're like, no, you touched her. You know, she <laughs> they try to flip it on. She's like they're like, she 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 touched you. She touched it. Talk, talk about me in middle school. I'm like, you piece of shit. First of all, I know you guys torture children. You're in a program right now. You know they're torturing babies, four-year-old kids. 
Talk about me talk, talking you in, in exaggeration of a child impossible. But you piece of shit, this is real. The torture of babies. And I know they, they like to utilize young people from young adult to kids. And they have this fake uh, 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 um, uh, uh, attitude. Doing that to women. Women saying, I will beat the shit out of this young broad. Because they can hear this kid like trash talking to you. So I know this whole facade. I'm trying to cool off. I'm trying to calm down. So, um, yeah. And so I'm um, next to me, there's this other couple. And you hear this trash, this trash eating well because my digestive system is destroyed. She's eating, I'm like trash eating nasty shit. And she's saying things and like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's laughing. And it's like, because they, the way I'm going to be tortured is going to be theatrical. Because this trash have been humiliated by this reality of what they're truly part of. And the fantasy they tried to put together was just like, and like now we're going to watch you. He's going to take you. He's going to rape you. It's like, listen, I'd rather get raped than tortured. But before that happened, I saw you for what you're really involved in. Now your fantasy of what you're trying to make is, this be about. And you know how I make sure they know that? When we left the table, the, the, the couple next to us, there's this guy we, acting all confident and everything else. We, oh, it's easy to be confident in this program because you, the government is running this thing. So you as a nobody, you'll be destroyed like nothing. But this bottom feeder next to, to, to me, he's a nobody, but involved in a program where the government is running this horrible thing. So to us, and he's participant of that. So you can see this uh, confidence. But before I left, he said something, finish it. Like he's t talking to my date or somebody, like basically finishing me. They call me eat. I don't get, like I care. Like you tell me, you cannot dehumanize me when I know what the, the kind of treasure you are. He said, finish it. And I, I'm, as I'm laughing, as I like, stand up and I just go down and say, Roy Moore. And I walked away. I forgot something there. I go back. You see, you should see his face. S scared. You know who this guy is the government sorry the the people i used to work for donated a lot of money to this candidate in 2018 i think to say his name has been something that's restricted right now vrv took it they're trying to say it in a way that i don't know if they say it or not very coy very timid about it these people any other thing they speak about yeah like no 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 shame but that oh my gosh to say his name, this man, who allegedly was picking up kids as young as 14 years old when he was 35 years old. They are, some reason, terrified to say his name. And when they say his name, because they still try to be fierce. To say like, we know we are powerful, wrong moral. You don't know if they say that. Or they say it when I'm saying something else. And I'm not sure if they said it. You understand? Like being very coy. It's like, you better not say clearly. You better find a way to say without saying it if you want to be fierce, but don't say it. So I say Roy Moore because the governmental, sorry, the, the, the organization I used to work for, donate, donated money to this man after the allegation that he was picking up kids as young as 14 years old at, at, when he was a 35-year-old assistant DA. And this shows how disgusting it is. Everybody else when those allegations came up and a lot of it came up every other donor backed away or at least publicly the organization I was working for not only did not back away from donating money to him they gave money before the allegation and after the allegation they gave more money and openly so now I say I'm like oh it's, it's you. yeah okay say that name say clearly this name for some reason, they have restricted these people to say his name. They, I'm sure they want to say it. That's what they try to say in a way that I can hear it. I'm, they're dying to say his name, but they can't. Not when I hear it. So I say this, Roy Moore. And I walk away. I don't know the fear they put in these people. 
But I've seen somebody who's trying to intimidate me and I say Roy Moore. He looks straight in like fear. This is a t dangerous looking person. But I've saw fear in his eyes immediately. As this trash via V2K is saying Rod Moore. Or trying to say it without me hearing it. So I say Roy Moore. This man just looks fear, fearful. And I make sure to say that in front you know they can't say it because I try to say it in front of them. But I say that. I say Roy Moore, I walk away. His face. When I came back to grab whatever I left, he was like scared. He's like, you see that? This is what you're. Now say Rod Moore, Rod Moore, Roy Moore, but in ways I can't hear it. But I understand that not much of a bottom feeders you guys are. That you can't say this alleged pedophile's name that people make fun of. But you can say when I'm not hearing correctly. Or when I'm confused or when I'm speaking so I cannot hear what's being said. Even via V2K, they're being timid about it. So in person, it's something else. The reason why I said that is specifically to remind you, I know that you're just a nothing. And I know who's running the show here. Finish it. You can't even say his name. You're scared of his name. You think you do? You think that's the reason why I'm finished? The bottom feel like you can have a knife and say this name that people are making fun of. Bunch of bottom feeders, low life, so they sold to pedophiles. Now I understand what this is really about. So stop this facade. Is it got so bad? You know, and just to wrap up things, in my brain, they rewire my brain so much that. During my date with this person, she kept looking down, looking at my lips, right? Kind of showing some interest. At least that's what it looked like. And they're making me think of when I was at the office. My coworker brought her, her young son. He was like six or something like that. Something like that. Six or, yeah, six or seven. And she comes and she brings him into my cubicle. And I'm... Um, like I, she's, she's. I'm trying to show. Okay, you, let me show you about the computer how it works. And you know, I'm so I'm, I'm talking to him. So we see he can do this like this, and he's paying very much attention. And I'm looking at him, and I'm looking down. And you know, I'm seeing his face as I'm going through what uh, I'm, I do at work. Right, I, I click here, and and I'm looking at him and like that. And so we do this. And I'm speaking in a very like attentive way, as I'm saying that they stimulate me to try to rewire this memory in this different fashion, and. I'm looking at him like I'm as I'm looking I'm I'm looking at his face and the, all his features as I'm doing that, and they're like you see you're looking at his lips too. You're interested now. This is the type of rewiring and thought process that is creating my brain, because like you see that woman when she was looking at you looking at your lips, she was interested. But remember when you were showing this kid how to use the computer. You look down and you also look at his mouth as you look up. You're interested too. This, this trash and low life. And trying to really make those campaign and creating this sexual perception of that. This is the kind of top rewiring that is happening. It's nasty. And then you have these perps contracted to make you accept these things. This trash are low life with bottom fears. That's all they sold to pedophiles. I already die in hell. They live the way they live.